Uh, this is your captain spooking. All right, that was really cringy, but anyways, I'm at the airport. Tavish and someone else, I forget her name, have come to the rescue. A lot has happened since my last video because I don't want to record every single moment of me playing the game. I don't want to over flood this YouTube channel. You can actually kill your channel doing that. So I was in evolution and uh, it didn't work out. Randy Orton was a bit of a snotty prick. And I essentially said, Adios, muchachos. So I walked away, went to the airport. Oh, yeah, I got fired. Then I went to do a motion capture shot. Sami Zayn came in, thought he was hot shit. And I said, off with you. And I pushed him off, bonked him pretty hard. And uh, here I am. So now Tavish is here and I don't have anybody else to talk to uh, at the airport. So let's see what happens here. Oh, and I lost my Intercontinental title to Omos. Slide over here. I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting and were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? Yeah, There's a lesson really. learned from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at. But I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. That can be hard to do. You trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say. For sure. What I learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. At least it gave you the first shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me you're ready to wear the wig. I don't like hair. Hippie boy. Let's hold off for now. Yeah, what happens if I select I'll that? I'll never try one, but I have some other comeback goals I'd like to focus on. So let's hold off for now. Fine. You're calling the shots. Speaking of shots, if we're not getting on a flight right away, I'm headed to the airport pub. Let me know when you've decided what's next. Yeah, I also told Shawn Michaels to uh, suck on a lemon because... Uh... I felt like he was setting me up for failure. Well, so this, so is what the character is saying, not actually me, but that's the storyline, right? And then I pushed him off the ring when he was leaving. I said, hey, I'm talking to you. And then he cracked his ribs because that's what Shawn Michaels does now that he's a little bit older. I guess I don't have a choice but to wear Did that stupid wig. Finally doing a British rules match? No. I think I'm ready. Mostly because I know you'll never stop bugging me about it, so... We might as well get it over with. That and I can't progress. Enthusiastic. Yes, I was open for, but I'll take it. A lot to unpack. And we can unlock the Club UK Arena. Can't wait to be done with My Rise, no offense, because now that I did the showcase to My Rise a little bit, I want to get into universe mode. That's what I'm really excited for. Personally, in terms of like longevity of the game, I haven't even I haven't even really had a chance to dip into universe mode. I spent like 10 or 15 minutes removing, adding superstars I didn't want during my, excuse me, everyday matches. Wow. Look at that. Maybe we'll have a bar brawl. That would be actually kind of cool. 
instead of like having the same parking lot as last year, even though there's more interactable areas to interact with, it'd be cool because the spot's already there. You could interact with those uh, cans of whatever the hell those are. There's the guitar uh, pull cue. It would just be a good time, I think. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one. But here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? Yeah, so, so far as well, the other thing I wanted to say is, I've been on Monday Night Raw my entire journey in my rise. It wasn't like last year again, where it was back and forth. Raw, NXT, SmackDown, Raw, NXT, SmackDown. You could ask to be transferred and all this kind of stuff. And then... I've said it a million times. I was never even able to finish my my rise, and I had to restart three times. And after that, I said, "Piss on it! I'm not. I'm not doing it." I'm already regretting this. So this is interesting because I've never been on SmackDown. I never started off at the Performance Center. Boy, suck it up. You're gonna be <clears throat> fine. And besides, the crowd is already here, so there's no backing out now. And then I didn't have a choice because it was scripted for me to lose the 24/7 title. Uh, and it happened in like, it didn't even happen in a cutscene. I just clicked the button and it was just gone. Don't even know who pinned me. Well, actually it was our truth that did me dirty there. And then I lost almost, like I said, Intercontinental Championship because Evolution never came out because I told them to, you know, stay out. I don't need their help. Yeah. So we see how well that turned out. All right. So let's continue the story because we've already seen a lot of the matches. So I don't feel bad if... All you're seeing here is some rambling of me flapping my gums and a little bit of cutscene because this okay, is Tavish isn't around. What do you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks the situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Yeah, so that girl that usually interviews you, by the way, I forgot what I was saying a moment ago. Now she decided to come along. I forget what the hell I was saying, but the point is, is this is very, very different. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I don't know how this is all going to end, to be honest. I have no idea. I don't have the slightest clue. Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. Yeah, sorry, what I was saying is, to me, I feel like this is important to show all these behind the scenes, because this is what really makes my rise, it's the story. We we all know what the gameplay looks like even before I opened my wrestling channel, right? That That's like nothing new. I've already posted a bunch of videos on the gameplay itself, and that's why... Um, this stuff here, I knew it was going to be a little bit slow, like I just had a feeling. And I'm glad that uh, I spent the first several minutes just kind of showcasing that and kind of recapping a little bit what went on behind the scenes. And unlike the other year, was it 2K19 or 20 or 20? Oh, I don't remember. Where you used to be able to free roam. Yeah, there's no free roaming uh, during the My Rise. You, you don't get to like walk around and stuff. It's just... You're in a static position, right? And you can move the analog stick and kind of look at the different options that you have. I'm actually really enjoying this ring. So that's the other reason why I chose to do my rise. I mean, because I could have just watched a story. I could have just watched any of the other big YouTubers 
uh, do it. But I was like, you know what? No, I want to watch myself be a part of this. And like I said, you do get a couple of, you know, rings and stuff like that. Austin Theory wannabe. No one cares about your little dance. Wow, this actually looks really cool. Look at the mat there. Oh, we start off with a bro kick. What the hell are you wearing? What kind of pants are those? Defeat Adrian Buck two out of three falls under the British rules. And what's interesting to... Oh, shit. On a stick. The other thing to note, which is uh, noteworthy, is... Uh, let's take a look. Yeah. I decided to put it on legend mode, by the way. And this has to do with my new, my new sliders are back in. I felt like if I didn't do that, it would have just been too much of a one-sided affair. This is actually my first match, by the way, with the continuation to editing my sliders. So if you notice that I'm doing much poorly compared to all my other matches, it's because it's not on easy, it's not on normal, it's not on hard. It is on legend. Oh, normally they never dodge that move. Plus, I wanted to see how it played out because this will kind of give me a better grasp and understanding as to how the gameplay works out. It'll make matches longer, obviously, because now I'm getting an ass kicking. Which is quite alright. I was getting a, a little bit bored to be, like, perfectly honest. I never know how to do that move properly. I know that X is the light button. Oh, shit. Listen. You're trying to make a name for yourself. It ain't... Oh, did you see the little block there? That was kind of cool. Oh, shit. See my window of opportunity? It just went... Oh, there it is. And then it just vanished. On easy, that window was there a, a little bit longer. I don't let me back it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We're getting... That's it. Oh, and there's no commentary. Hey! No small package for you. Big package for me. Anyways, that was cringy. Never mind that. Bopping the noggin. A little bit more... Back... Forthy, back and forthy ish. Back and forth like whatever. It's more back and forth. Oh shit, I missed it. It sounded like something broke there. Nasty. But with no commentary. This is painful because now we're relying just on me here. Def oh, it would have helped if I looked at the instructions. Defeat. Yeah, you see that? That pin bar thingamathingy. It's definitely moving a lot quicker. I don't know. What are you doing? You're not Seth Rollins. And that's why you needed both feet to do that sort of kind of not really... Or the Randy Orton punt kick. Yeah, this is not... Shit. I might have to put it back on easy. But no, it's okay. That's nah, all good. In the end. They're all... Gonna fall victim. Get oh, shit. Oh, you gotta be... Oh, my God. I've never had it go that fast. Holy shish kebab. Oh, I lost my my mojo, my stamina. I was going to give him the the Sami Zayn. Oh shit. Oh yeah, now now I'm really feeling the pressure, which to be honest, I'm enjoying the gameplay a, a lot more. 
The problem is it's making it a lot more difficult because I'm recording. And this is making me look bad. Ugh. Eat shit and die. A thing of beauty. And he kicked out. If it was on easy, by the way, I, I don't think, as far as I know, I don't think I've actually ever had somebody kick out of my finisher on easy. And again, my sliders are all the same. Nope. Not gonna happen. That's it. Bro, you kick. Oh, shit. You reversed my reverse or my finisher. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where's the prompt to, to reverse? I didn't get it. Did not get it. Holy guacamole. Or macaroni and cheese with the bacon bits. I'm staggered. But that don't mean I'm done. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, my God. This is terrible. I'm going to lose my effing match. I'm going to lose my match. I could feel it. My chances are slipping away. He knows to drag me. Like, seriously? Is this an online match? Oh. I'm sweating. This is not good. I'm going to need to reapply my antiperspirant and deodorant. I'm hanging on for dear life. Shit. He's kicking me. While I'm trying to hang on for dear life, I thought I wasn't allowed to the ring. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you be getting goosey here. Don't even think about it. You're not Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, shit. I wasn't able to counter him. Oh, my tummy hurts. Is it awesome? I thought we weren't allowed out of the ring. So much for that. Oh, God. Okay, get off me. And I'm stunned. Holy sh... I, like, at first I thought things were going okay. They're not going okay at all here. Oh! Screw you! You moved! You weren't supposed to move! Shit! Do something! Anything! Just something! The more moves I do, it's not good. It's really not good in the corner. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, hello, the kick! That was a hell of a halluva. Seriously? And I got to pin this jabroni two out of three falls? Okay, you know what we're going to do? That's it. Because, you know, he, he won't see this coming. Please don't counter it. Don't kick out. We're both red. That's it. Quick. Yeah, didn't think so. Maybe we're going to pull a little Randy Orton here. Oh, shit. I went for the stunner out of nowhere. And instead. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? No. Get off the ropes. I thought this was a British match. That's right. No, 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 no. Off the ropes. Yeah, he can't make up his mind. He's like, what are the rules again? Oh, no, no. He's doing the pose. The finisher pose. Don't finish me. Where is the reversing prompt? Oh, I didn't even get a chance to reverse it. Oh, I thought the match was over. Yeah, this is bullshit. No, no, no you don't get... What? What? 
Okay, so, you know, the uh, blah, blah. the objective failed. You know what? I want to make this extra special, this video here. We're going to go back to the main menu. And what we're going to do is um cheat. We're going to go to uh, gameplay. And, yeah, not hard, not normal. We're going to easy. I just, you know, I just want it to be a smooth ride. Smooth rad Satan here. Let's rise to the occasion on easy mode. But I, I actually enjoy how difficult that was. Like that was like adrenaline pumping for me. Whereas when it's on easy, I'm all like, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Like I'm not as into it because it's just so like whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, that was something. I'm actually glad it was that difficult. Sometimes my rise uh, on Legend difficulty, I find it harder than Universe mode. Legend difficulty, if that makes any sense. I do find the game overall harder. Now let's see if I can just... You know what I mean? Just take this guy to town. You ain't doing shit. You're not going to do it. You're not going to make me look bad like you did. The last time. Oh, you want to... I don't know. Here it begins. Watch this. That's right. Just like Zack Ryder. So he was able to toss me out the last time. But I thought, British rules, you weren't able to do that. So let's grab him. Let's toss his ass out. Nobody wants him. That's it. Taking out the trash. See? Oh, you can't do top rope moves. Okay, that's what it is. What about if I do... No? What if I do... No. Maybe I can do... No. Notice how he's taking a lot longer to get up. Now you're just going to get schooled. Because you pissed me off. That's right. I'm going to make your ass... There's rope breaks. Well, this is going to be good. Actually, you're going to get to see... Hey, hey. You're going off script there, Jimmy. That's it. In the corner. Let's bring you in this corner. Wrong corner. I find on Xbox compared to the PlayStation controller, I sometimes have a little bit more of a difficult time doing the angled shit. There we go. Boot to the noggin. I normally don't pin on a signature move, but we'll see what happens here. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, you want to jump up that quickly? How do you like me now? That's what I'm getting at. And you probably see why I like doing a mixture of both. Uh, legend and easy gameplay. Because at some level, I just want to go through the motions. And in the other sense... Working on my thumbnail there. What was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, then I want to show you how hard Legend can be, too. But here you definitely saw a huge, massive difference. I'm probably just going to leave it on easy, to be honest. It's once I get to universe mode, that's where we're having the whole fancy meal, right? The mashed potatoes with a lot of gravy and the dressing on top, or what you folks would call stuffing for the most part. Let's do one last chit chat here and see what happens. Look who wore the wig. <laughs> and you're going to get to wear it some more. So it wasn't a literal wig. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is going to be tougher. But the important part is that you're learning to get outside <clears throat> your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. 
Actually, the perfect title for this uh, video is probably going to be No Longer in the WWE or I Got Fired. Yeah, that's actually probably going to be a good title. Look at me, I'm all excited. Report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a point. Nice blacks. So how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Yeah, I just forgot about that because when... Because there's like UK stuff going on, you know. In the UK, I don't even know where I was going with that. My mind just went blank. There's wrestling going on in the UK and then there's like that... UK division? Because there's that UK title belt. I don't know too much about it. So when I came here and I was with Tavish there, I wasn't sure if I was still sort of kind of subcontracted by WWE, but in the UK under a different, excuse me, CO and all that. Clearly, I was wrong about that. This, I don't mind making an extra long match, honestly, or like an extra long video, because I would rather post a one, one hour video than three 20 minute videos or two 30 minute videos. I'm not really good at math, but from an algorithm standpoint, it's better for me not to upload as much. But if I make the matches longer, whatever, so be it, right? You can always pause and resume because I'm sure once you've seen the level of crap so far from this video, you're just going to want to keep going. But I'm into it. I mean, it's on easy. Who the hell is that? Is that me with a beard? What do you only eat creatine and protein all day? Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Your weightlifting belt is still strapped around your waist and you still got your chain on like a 90s rapper. Exactly. Go back to bed. Oh, shit! No, no. That's not how we roll here in the UK. You're gonna sit your ass down. Oh, we're still under British rules. Come on. The British don't like to get on top. <laughs> that could be the title of my video, too. I've been trying to make all of my Rise uh, videos, like, you know, part one, part two, to all have, like, a theme uh, title to them. Run! I really wish there was commentary. Where's Byron Saxton, Corey Graves? Actually, I wish I could have Jesse the Body Ventura on right now. It's been a long time since he's done commentary, and he's still around. I've had some mild interactions with him on Twitter here and there. Mm. I'll kick the chain right off your neck. This one's going to come to a halting screech. But yeah, I actually really like this, uh, this arena, like, a lot. It just has that pub, brawling, brute... Irish, kick-ass, English. You know what I'm getting at. I don't even know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. Just has that feel to it, that vibe. All right. It's time to end it. What other moves do I have at my disposal here for a signature? I have a closed line from hell. Okay, well, let's do that. Bam! Huh? Oh, you want to get up? You think you're a tough guy? Because you had a little, uh... Whatever it was called there, your second wind? Kick out of this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want to make me look bad? That's okay. Maybe I'll rip the chain right off you. Huh? How do you like me now? Tap! Tap. It looks like he's tapping. Come on. Do it. 
That's it. Oh, and it did work. I thought it had to be a pinfall, but whatever. And if that was on Legend, he would have made me eat my own hand. I know I do that weird, pathetic pose. At least my mouth isn't like... Like a lot of YouTubers do. With all due respect, it's cringy as shit. Now, hopefully there's like something more to it here. Uh, I mean, it's not like I gotta be anywhere. But we'll see, like I said. Hey, small afro, YouTuber, really cool guy, does wrestling stuff. Uh, very envious of him. He's uh, got a channel around the size of my main channel. And he, what the hell's going on here? And he's been able to meet some of the actual superstars, hang out with them, play the game early. It's like, wow, I could only dream of that. I thought, again, only people like, ooh, Chris Danger, Brandon does everything. Like, I thought you had to be like super duper up there. You know what I mean? Like the pootie pie of wrestling YouTubers to be able to to get that kind of uh, interaction. But you don't. It's like, hey, that's actually pretty neat. So it kind of gave me some some hope that some smaller YouTube channels can attain those things. I really don't know what's going on here, but I have a feeling I know where this is going. And as every year goes by, I'm getting slower or quicker and quicker or closer and closer rather to actually... Uh, you know, being that old and not looking like my actual avatar. Ha! Another win! Way to go! Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? For real. Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No. Maybe we're going to be a take team. Idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match and can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Oh, Seriously. boy. Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules. May the best fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. <laughs> All right. I kind of want to keep going, like I said, because I'm really excited to see where this goes. Like after I'm done being away from the WWE, like what does my comeback look like? And because I'm afraid of over posting on my channel, I'm hoping that having the game on easy again, we can just kind of plow through and just sort of see how like it evolves and transitions through my United Kingdom journey. No, that wasn't supposed to be an accent. Well, it was, but it wasn't necessarily supposed to be, uh, you know, a foreign accent. Don't forget, French is my first language. Le français est ma première langue. Jamais oublier ça. Never forget that. All right, that's the Kevin Owens entrance walk, by the way. I really like this Club UK thing. Okay, let's skip that. We're fighting the old man. What does he look like when he's coming out? <laughs> Reminds me of like a Bob Backlund. <laughs> oh, he better not kick my ass. Because that would be terrible. Especially considering it's on easy. Again, another two out of three falls. Are you sure you can handle this? Well, at least we know he's not wearing a wig. Oh. Right in the back, you're going to need to see a chiropractor. Diffuse your vertebrae or whatever's in there back together. Oh. It's kind of like a modified version of a code breaker. All right, let's see what we got here for a move. Oh, that's an interesting move. Because I don't often uh, do it from the back. <laughs> don't get any ideas. But you've got oh, shit! Busted him up just like that with that move. See, because if I do the same sequence... 
a completely different move, right? It's a, it's a different move when you do it from behind. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Oh, shh, you sneaky old bastard. Yeah, you can't even hit me. Huh? Try me again. Whoop. Do it again. Oh, shit. Okay, slow down. No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, if that's a pedigree, I could be in really deep doo-doo. There we go. See, that bar is, like, really wide. It's, like, really big. And it's slow. It's big and it's slow. You want it to be small and fast when it's on legend difficulty. Oh! What was that? Was that, like, a move thief thing? Oh, it's a comeback move. I have a comeback move? That wasn't much of a comeback, was it? And what was I coming back from? This has been a one-sided affair since the start. Good old Austin 316 Fez Press. And I'm going to press his noggin in the turnbuckle. Hey. You're not following the script. Get over here. Okay. Clearly, <coughs> I'm not being taken seriously here. Little back and forth. Watch how slow it is. I have all day here to get out of that. The referee needs a chill pill. Where's the button? There we go. Yeah, you feeling it now? Okay. Uh, what was my what was my move again? Oh yeah. Rum. I don't know why I said the word rum. <laughs> I have. Hey, what are you doing? Kicking out of that? Go back to sleep. It's past your bedtime. Clearly, I'm not being taken seriously. Picture perfect. R. K. O. We all know you're going to play tough guy here, so. Good night, Gramps. Tavish has been tarnished. That was cringy. How is he standing up already? He's going to pull a fast one. No, he's going to give me a growing shot. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. And where'd the blood go? Did he wipe it off? Did someone hand him a cloth? I don't see anybody at ringside. Suspicious. Watch, he's going to run behind me and go bang. No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't roll that way. I have no idea. And I'm not going to lie. I'm really not going to lie. Who in the blue pineapple is this guy? Is he a real character? I'm going to have to look him up after. Because I don't recognize him. Something about WCW. Is he a made-up persona? I don't know. I have no idea. Moving along. Come on. Chop, chop. Xbox Series X. Where's the power? What's taking so long here? That could have been done an Iron Man match by now. It better be good. Better be good. There we go. We've unlocked it. Arena Club UK. Oh. I'm kind of liking where this is going. I got some options. We got Tom. Tom is a... Uh, I don't know, Tom. I'm saying, you know, the whole fist thing. That's like an extra, whatever, challenge. Just a regular challenge. And then that's like an optional side story. And then we've got Chosen. That's like the forced, or not the forced, but it's like the actual story, right? And then, yes, I do repeat myself from video to video. Let's just go with Drew McIntyre really quick. Well, if it isn't the most controversial man in wrestling... You're not following me now, are you? <laughs> I could say the same to you. 
Shouldn't your boot be making contact with someone's face right about now? Claymore's taking a little break to recharge. I'm heading home for a few weeks to see my family. I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. <laughs> I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're gonna have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? Oh, I'm loving it. This is a side thing here, by the way. The better question, is WWE ready for me? Oh. I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. Sure, why not? Count me in. Count me in. British rules? I want to give you a fighting chance. Oh. British rules? No problem. That's just my kind of match. I love Drew McIntyre. Biting off Claymore. Then you can chew. Maximum upgrade points of plus eight. Yeah, well, th this'll be the last one. Maybe. Yeah. Because I feel like this video is probably going to be like the longest one I've ever made. But, like I said, I'd rather make a longer video. It's not like I do these often. Oh, so it's the pub. Um, you know, ring, but without a crowd. Now, here's an interesting question for you. Which I'm probably going to, no offense, be able to answer before you can. Is when I go to select this ring, if I wanted to use it for a one-on-one -on -one match... Do I get to pick whether I want the version of with or without the crowd? I feel like that's a valid question. Right? Because that kind of makes a big difference. Again, we're just very quickly going through the motions here. Oh, you little... Oh! Shit. Shit. No. I love that knee lift. Never, ever gets old. Oh, speak. You don't slap me. Shit. I'm going to show you what you get for that. After you're done kicking my ass. I said. Shit. I always screw up the combo. But I can always rely <laughs> on the pin to save me. Okay, this is what... There we go! A little taste of your own medicine. We're not quite ready for the hell of a halluva kick. Oh shit, he's angry now. Watch like a glitch happen someday where like your limb actually falls off. That would... Hey, hey, hey! You're supposed to give me a moment to recover. Yeah, that's right. You get back in there and stay there. I love the Haluva kick. Or the clothesline from hell. Which used to be my finisher, or actually used to be just a regular move I had, but now some of the finishers, you can't just use them as a regular move, like the F5, uh, you know, from John Cena and all that. Like, that used to be just like a part of my regular heavy grapple move. And now I can't do that. But there are some moves uh, that you can do that with, I think. Just not nearly as much as before. I think it's because they're trying to protect them and make them more special. I think that's the idea behind that. I'm just speculating here. It wasn't really a sparring set. What the hell? Oh, it didn't say the two out of three thing. Oh, okay. I see. I'm supposed to just know. Here I was. Almost let my guard down. Nope. Oh, that was actually a nice reverse reversal. See? You could Hey. Would you switch to legend mode? Speaking of Drew McIntyre, remember when he was like in 3MB and all that kind of stuff? I always enjoyed him. And I don't think it's so much that he got better. It's just that the WWE allowed him to just... Just be him more, I guess. I don't know. It's like the whole Cody Rhodes thing. I think he was always great. Always really enjoyed him. But it was like, eh. 
whatever just because of how he was being booked right then he comes back the american nightmare the whole thing in the last little while and when he was in a and aew and uh it's like he's got way more momentum then you listen to him on the mic and it's like holy cow this guy's on fire well, maybe he was always on fire like i said but couldn't always showcase that because you can't just do what you want you don't always have a lot of creative freedom. Right? Even John Cena was restricted. Maybe not as much as some of the others, but you get the idea. So that's the point I was just trying to simply make. Is sometimes these people, as time goes on, is it that they're getting better or AE or or is the WWE allowing them to just simply just do more? Right? Like look at all the times we've seen Cody Rhodes on the microphone. You never really used to get to see that before. So, was he always able to, to speak that well? I'm just saying, just an observation I'm making. But yeah, I definitely think this is going to be the end. And then what I'll do is I'll record uh, the next part, but I just won't upload it right away. I don't want to do like a like a back-to-back -back here. But I definitely want to go through the motions. I want to wrap this up. I, this is like my fifth day of playing uh, 2K23 on and off. And before I go to him, I'm going to do... Oh, she showed up. Okay. Fanny fan. So basically doing that side mission, optional side mission, unlocked an additional thing. So I'm going to do that. But I'm done recording. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass, and I'll ship your ass on one of them random planes. Who knows where you're going to end up? And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. But if not, I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.